Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're three lords into the map. No. No, this one. Yeah, also take the cigarettes. I'm one mean motherfucker. Wait, no, this one. <laughs> and I'm taking their cigarettes. Yeah. Also, we sniffed them pretty well last time. So I don't think we should have too much trouble outside. Yeah, not too much. We won't get by with, without any at all either. Oh, he actually does have a gun. I'm making my move. Stop! Moving about like a big city, sir. Otherwise, I will have to get out the laser RCW, and you won't like that. I don't even know what that actually is. Okay, I can't shoot through the desk, probably. I did that. I'm hit. Not convinced. Stop your touching me, thingies. Let me become a dispenser of justice. In this justiceless wasteland. No nice to Mojave. Wasteland. Yep. Okie dokes. Let's see if they have anything good up this tower. Yeah. That sounds like a plan. I'll take their ammo. Sure. I can also take their empty. Uh, you could go to a bottle without it being stealing because they want me to recycle their bottle. Because they're not actually bad people, they're just misunderstood. That's right. Down I go! It only takes forever. Right, so let's see now. Is there anything loot worthy in here? It looks like it might be a looter's paradise, but it seems to be all shite. So it might not be in Luther's Paradise. In fact, it might be hell. Alright, up we go. So many stairs. Bottle caps. There we go. Can't take the balloon thing on my cheeks. So let's take everything here instead. Because not enough that shite weighed a shite. So it's all good. Okay, and back down. And then, uh, where? We could go visit this one before we move on to any other towers. Now let's go visit this, then let's visit that tower, then go about to those, and then visit that place, and then that tower. Yeah. Plan. Cell block P. Hi. Let's shut up, poltergeist. I said shut up, poltergeist. You're giving away my stealth. Hello, Carter. I'm not a murderer. I am a dispenser of justice. Justice dispensement machine. Alright, so... Okay. Cool. No one suspects Machete um, to be a... Justice dispensement machine, anyway. I wonder if they have any surviving people here whom I could rescue now. Get in that locker for more shotgun ammo. Yeah, I could do that. Ah, uh, more mentats. Sure, I could sell those. Is that blood? It is. Someone must have been skilled at the sleepsies. Oh well, what were they expecting while sleeping with a bunch of murderers? I'm not sure if I said murderer or murderer. A bunch of murderers. Yeah, that's right. Let's take the cigarettes. Oh, it's a wart of sorts. Scrap metal, scrap metal. I could probably turn the scrap metal into... 
Something I could use. Maybe. About the charge. A leaf blower. What can I do with this leaf blower? How do I make about the charge? I know I just got a schematic. No, oh, it doesn't actually tell me. The busted. The little busted. The little busted. Scrap electronics. I'm gonna take those just in case. I could turn those into something I could use for some sort of ammo as well. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Four. And then we wander into this tower, right? That was the plan. And we're gonna correct these NCR bastards. And they're gonna be like, hey, that was actually rather rude. Because they're not actually the NCR bastards, they are the other bastards. The NCR bastards are the ones who are trying to keep these bastards in check. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh huh, uh huh, I'll explain it. I saw movement. There's someone downstairs. Malcolm! Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Why were you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. And we're gonna find more of these caps. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. You mentioned someone named Festus, who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure, that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. What kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. Okay, thanks for the info. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Thanks, Holmes. Wait. Do we have to have some successful caps? And you didn't even react to that. Okay, I'm fine with that. See ya. <laughs> I think this is the first time we actually pickpocketed anyone without the purpose of planting a grenade in the pump. What can we do? We can do some ammo thingies. Wait, so we could just turn train the electron charges into legit ammo without any other ingredients required. That's pretty cool. Makes me almost wish I actually used energy weapons. Did that? Did that in three. Let's see what we can do with actual guns in this one. Yeah. Time to climb a tower. 
Time to loot the corpse. Because, yeah, we snipped the bastard. We snipped him good. <laughs> we snipped so many bastards. We didn't even know what happened to them. Before they realized that, oh god, they've been snipped. They've been snipped right in the bum bum. Which reminds me, there should be more corpses about. I should probably watch my eyes. Or keep an eye <laughs> for them. Watch my eyes. That's gonna be difficult. There's a nose bridge in the way, and uh, the rest of my skull, probably as well. What parts of my skull? Oh. The nose bridge is the one that makes it the most difficult, though, because that doesn't even let me get a peripheral view of my eye. Yeah. Right then. Staring directly at my own eye would be painful. NCRCF uh, administration. If I remember correctly, this place was a terrible idea. I should not have come here. Found you. Had enough. You like that? I'm gonna take your glasses, I'm gonna take your glasses, nya, 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 nya. I just took his glasses. Uh, do I don't know, do I want to keep the shades for myself or... Let's use the sunglasses instead because... Anybody there? Maybe I'm just no. You like that? This is probably not actually a very realistic situation. Maybe I'm just jumping. Bye bye! There's still someone left. I remember the boss guy. The boss guy also had a lot of these bodyguards about. They were horrible people to fight. Absolutely terrible. Wait. Can I repair my suave hat further? Yes, I can. Excellent. And then we can also pick an easy lock. Not as easy as said on the team, but we didn't lose anything either, so it's fine. Level up! Hi! What do we do with that? Nothing? Okay. Cool, I'll work on that later then. Probably get the shotgun out. Come on! I want your eye badge! It probably won't work very well. It probably doesn't give me a perception bonus. Why would it give me a perception bonus, you know? Sorry, fellas! Well, level up! Okay, we've got uh, more repair, we've got more science, and then we have six points left. Much better than what we had before. Get the guns, and well, we could get guns to 30, or medicine to 30, or we could get speech to 30, which actually sounds like a excellent plan. <gasps> quest failed? I fought the law? What made me fail the quest? Was it that I killed every quest related to NPC? No! It couldn't have been. How oh, why would that fail the quest, right? That would be just silly. I should have failed that quest when I became qualified with these bastards because I'm quite sure there was no way for me to turn that situation into anything less than an absolute horror. Okay, that's a pistol. That's a revolver. Ah, another achievement. Nice, thanks. And what else do we have? Uh, we can repair this plasma pistol, why not? We can make a decent single shotgun. It's still with very low DPS compared to this motherfucker. And we can repair our warmint rifle to full and uh, make another one. But this is not exactly the full, but it's pretty decent. And we can drop some shite. Why not? 
Alright, uh, whom did I not loot? Quite sure there were plenty I did not loot. Oh, I can't have his eye patch. What a legitimate past. Oh well, what did I expect? A chance to get something good from him? No. I shouldn't have anyway. Hello, corpse. I'm gonna take your sunglasses. And you're gone again because I'm, for some reason, making as many of the full version ones as I can because I seem to be under the impression that that gives, gives me XP or something. It might actually be a possibility. Plus, these pistols don't actually weigh a lot in this game. Like a pound. Uh, okay. I looted that, right? I looted Hannigan. Hello, Hannigan's head. Guess we're going upstairs. Oh, there's some corpses here. I don't mind. I can make more. If need be. So I don't think there's anyone left. Right? The last time I did this thing situation, I was having a lot more trouble for some reason. Probably because I didn't have a motherfucking thingy that destroys everything. Access for this log. The transferring gave away three more of my men. They tell me it's all to keep the situation at the dam under control, but what about this place? The situation here has become dangerous for my men and I I know it. My men know it. And the prisoners know it. It's only a matter of time before something happens. I've seen the reports of this so-called Caesar Legion. It sounds like they're just another bunch of raiders, but the higher-ups back west seem to think they're a serious threat. Something's going on and I'm sure that Cook is behind it all. No evidence yet, but something just feels off. But Cook is quite popular among the younger prisoners. Many of them seem to have taken in by his anti-NCR dogma. Cook's group are all modern prisoners, especially Cook himself. They don't fight and they always do what they told. They make me nervous and I'd have them watched every second of every day if I could. James, you and I served together for seven years and I'm calling in a favor. I need you to convince General Oliver to stop transferring my men out of here and to deliver the replacements I was promised. I'm expected to put these prisoners to work making new rail lines and fixing the existing ones but I can't do that if I don't have any cars to keep an eye on them. Does the general really expect the handful of men I have left to be able to keep several dozen hearted men in line? You owe me for that one time in no Murdoch. Don't let me down. Ah, oh, poor Nathan. Poor Nathan indeed. <laughs> Resident Peaches. Oh. I don't suppose we have a key or anything, do we? No problem not. Hello. Anything here that may be of help? You caught them cigarettes. That should open the lock, right? No, maybe the pre-war money, because money solves everything. Huh? Hmm. Oh. Explosives. Thank you. Ammo. Thank you. More filing cabinets. A metal box. More ammo. So, I'm not entirely convinced. Am I still staying neutral? Oh no, we're good. <laughs> oh no, we're good. We need to be evil by the time we get to level 50. That's a fact, I think. That has the best bonus. In my opinion. In my opinion, anyway. My opinion might be wrong. But it certainly looked like that was the case. Right, so when we get some more big pocketing level thingies, we should probably stop by again. Kill some people. Actually, I kind of meant that I should stop by to loot more things. Killing people is fine too, of course. I thought I hit four, not five. Five is the one with the thingy. This thingy. And six is the one with this thingy. 
which you could have used to assist in my sleeping. You know? It totally have worked. Scouting out enemy positions before taking shots. It would have made sense. But there's more... There's a puppy. I don't think that's a happy puppy. I think that might be an evil puppy. Also, seriously, Holmes. How come Holmes just ran in here? Like, there was nothing to worry about. This was pretty much a war zone. And it's just like... Ah, doesn't matter. I'm gonna go and tell him that I saw him pick up a thingy. And he should not collect these thingies, or otherwise some Allen fellow will come and kill him. It's, you know, for his own safety. I will make no mention of the fact that he shouldn't be in a bloody war zone. Because, you know, that's not dangerous at all. Ah, set block A. Hello, I've come to finish you off. You bastards. That missed. I'm hit! Yes, you were. Apparently this shotgun that we're going to have doesn't actually count as a shotgun for some of the functionalities the game has. Also, repair my sunglasses to be amazing. Excellent. What do we need to repair that, I wonder? Actual leather armor? Can I use the soldier outfit? Probably not. I do need to look hey. into what I can use. No, that doesn't work. There's a repair perk that allows me to use whatever the fuck I want to repair whatever the fuck I want. That sounds pretty great. You have that uh, seagull shot shotgun, right? Nice smile. It's, it would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Like, something just happened to it. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude, indeed. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm not sure, but there might still be more people about. Maybe. Maybe not. Do we need to actually talk to the NCR to get the NCR pardon for our friend? Probably. We don't really have a lot of influence with the NCR, so... That might not work. Bye, Bobby Pin. You were my friend. But in my time of need, you failed me, you bust. Okay, so... Let's look in this direction. It's a pretty toilet situation, really. Hi? No, nothing. Alright, bye. Is there anything else we can get around here? Well, what happened to those corpses? I was meant to find. There, were, there was that one fellow I actually snipped real good. And it just fell over. I think he was somewhere in this courtyard, wasn't he? He didn't know what was happening and he just fell over. Was it this guy? Might have been this guy. It was this guy. Poor fella. Simply fell over. There's a basketball. Where's the hoop? Hmm, I don't see the hoop, otherwise I would pick up the ball. Play ball. You know, like this. Bounce, 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 bounce. Alright, oh, it doesn't work. I was hoping it would. I just wasted the ammo. But this was which bench? This was the workbench. What else can we do here? Oh, we have more microfusion cells we can recycle. Overcharge. I think that's. I don't need that one, I think. What can what can I do here, there? 
I probably not a lot right now. Broke flowers, empty syringes, and sand root. I didn't have the science level for it, but if I did, I now know I need to loot all the empty syringes. Stop them, Pottergeist! Stop it! God damn poltergeist. Alright then, I think this concludes our adventure here. And uh, next time I'm gonna go and see how diplomatic I can be about things. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Have you heard of my machete? It's wonderful. Ooh. Shite. Can't see shite. That's fine. I win. <laughs>